Welcome back to the Grambo Report. In the last four weeks, the team of experts from the FBI and Homeland Security, together with the hardened investigative journalists of the Grambo Report, have combined journalism with the war on terror. I must warn you, some of what you are about to see will be disturbing, especially to children, pregnant women, and anyone associated with the ACLU. In order to set up the individual stings, we used the expertise of Agent Kate Bowen of Terracom to lay the bait. I'm starting a thread here about how Ruben Studded is a tool. It says, Ruben Studded should be the Velvet Fatty Bear. Aiken is the beautiful dream, and the fact that he didn't win makes me question my faith in democracy. This is perfect. I'll up the stakes a little. Yeah, democracy sucks. I want to bomb it. And they're responding, LOL, that would be the bomb. I'll show you the bomb. Come and meet me. Agent Bowen completed her task and set up a meeting at the safe house. We didn't really know who to expect. And then the door opened. I was obviously not trained enough to crack this hardened terrorist, so I needed to have some help from the very best, Special Agent Isaac Grambo.
Our first confession came from a surprising source. But the results prove the theory correct. Surfing reality television related chat rooms can lead to capturing terrorists. Our plan was working, so we pressed on. Now I'm starting a thread about the greatness of Taylor Hicks. His vanilla soul fills my bowl. Although none of us at the Grambo Report were quite sure what that meant, it led almost immediately to a flood of laudatory comments praising the song stylings of Taylor Hicks. There was one especially vocal and rather odd comment. It says, Taylor Hicks is president of the United States of Love. Now that's a reference to Hair, the groundbreaking 1968 musical by Jerome Ragney and James Rado. The song he's referencing is Colored Spade. It's about black rights and racism in the 60s. Now this could be backhanded. Angry about a white man singing such sweet soul music. So I'll ask a clarifying question. What about our real president? And his answer? Justin Timberlake doesn't know what he's talking about. He's not bringing sexy back, just a heart attack? This guy's all over the place. I'm gonna set up a meeting. The trap was set for what we expected to be a crazed, Kaczynski-like loner. We weren't too far from the truth.
After six hours of interrogation, Mike confessed to concocting a plot involving 16 booby-trapped water fountains in Julia Davis Park. Another terrorist plot thwarted thanks to the Granville Report.